Hey guys, it's Lauren, and today I'm going to be teaching you a couple easy DIYs to decorate your guinea pig's cage or any small animal's cage for this manner for Valentine's Day. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. So let's get started. For the first DIY, we are going to make a cute heart wreath for your guinea pig's cage. So what you will need is paper, preferably printed or colored paper, but since I don't have any colored or printed paper around, I'm just going to use some plain white paper. Then I'm going to get some markers too to color on the paper. If you are using plain white paper, get some colored markers. So these are just the colors that I'm using. and. If you are using colored or printed paper, you don't need markers. Then, of course, some yarn. This is the color yarn I'm using. It's just a nice dark pink purpley color, and it just matches for Valentine's Day. You will need some scissors. Lastly, some tape. To start off with this, you're going to cut your paper into strips. Um, I'm doing about two inch strips or an inch and a half. Now once you have all your papers done and you only need five strips for this unless if you want to make your wreath bigger. Now you fold all your strips in half equally. Now you're going to fold both of the top edges together and then double side the tape and put it in the middle of them and then pinch it close and then you have a little heart. Now just do this to the rest of your pieces. Now once you have all your hearts done, put a little piece of the tape on the side and then you're going to attach all your hearts together. Now once you've taped all of your sides together it should look something like this. Now all you need to do is attach your string and then you can hang it up. For our next DIY you're going to need some paper, preferably colored paper would work best for this. Tape, scissors, a marker, and some thread. Just cut your paper into a bunch of different pieces. It doesn't really matter how small of the squares they are. Just make sure they're in different squares or rectangles or whatever. It doesn't matter what size, like I said. It depends on how big you want your hearts to be. Fold all those papers in half, and then to make the perfect heart, you're just going to do a half heart and then cut it out. I apologize for the dog barking in the background, but then you're going to take your yarn and just kind of tape it around the heart and it looks really cute. You can also use glue or something, but I just decided to use tape because it um, dries faster since it doesn't have to dry. The last DIY we are going to do is make a little heart pillow. So I'm going to use some red fabric, some needle and thread, scissors, and batting. For this project, you're going to cut out two of your heart fabric so basically mine is attached but yeah and then you're gonna cut out um your batting to the shape and size of your heart as well and then you can flip this one over and you can sew everything together and it's just that simple now you're done i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial so please get it give it a thumbs up and comment, rate, subscribe, and like for more videos. If you do recreate any of these DIYs, post them on Instagram and tag my Instagram, which is in the description. And by, by the way, on this project here, um, I actually saw a different video on this on a different YouTube channel. So don't give me credit for this one, but all the others I just made. So yeah, bye guys!